What's up guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to block your stock PCV breather hole, and then also installing fittings into your valve cover so that you can run an external catch can. Uh, so I'm gonna start with the items you will need. You will need, you don't really need a flashlight, but you will need a M26 by one and a half tap. Uh, this one I just got off of Amazon, it is a bottoming tap. Uh, the tap was about $26 if I remember right. So a little spendy, but I'll probably make a few of these. I've got a few different valve covers. I grab them every time I go to the junkyard. So I've got that as well as an M26 by one and a half Allen head plug comes with a copper washer. I will link uh, all of this stuff down in the description of the video so that you guys can just go to Amazon where I got all this stuff and put your own kit together. Um, I do have stuff for the actual catch cam too, but that, I'll make that another video. This one I just wanted to point out how to um, plug the PCV breather hole as well as putting the um, new fittings in the actual valve cover itself. So the M26 tap will fit in the PCV breather hole without any drilling, anything that's already appropriately sized for the M26 tap. So all you need to do is, I've got some WD-40 and the tap, just lightly spray some WD-40 on the tap and then just make sure it's straight as possible when you're going in. So I've already done it on this one. As you can see, there are nice new shiny threads in there and I've already tested the tap in here, but this tap right here will, as it's going in, it feel, or it felt like it was a little bit tapered. So the, as you were going in with the tap, it felt like it got harder and harder and harder, but it wasn't bottoming out quite yet. You can see it through the side of the flutes, um, which is actually why I had the flashlight. But again, you don't necessarily need this. This just makes it easier to see as you're going in to make sure it doesn't bottom out. Cause in this magnesium valve cover, if you do get too far down in that bore and you start wrenching on it, you will rip all of the threads out and undo all the work that you've just done. And if you don't have another valve cover, you're kind of SOL at that point. So that is all set. As you can see, the plug itself. I think there's some gunk in the thread there, but. Threads in there nicely. I'm not gonna put it in all the way right now because there's no point because I'm gonna actually strip and paint this valve cover. But as you can see, that is in there. It fits well, it's nice and snug. The threads aren't sloppy. Um, for this instance, I would use either, if you wanna use Loctite, you can. Um, I was just gonna do a little bit of high temp silicone, um, just some black RTV, the same stuff used for gaskets. And then just put it lightly on the threads just so it doesn't leak. Um, because you're you shouldn't have any pressure in the crankcase anymore. That's the whole point of this setup But it'll help seal those threads just in case so any oil doesn't seep out of there You do have the sealing washer here, but it might not seal perfectly Against this surface here, but so we'll leave that the second thing after you're done tapping that is right here. There's usually a cover here. I already took it off um, this is where you will figure out where you want to put your fittings, which these fittings, they have two nylon washers in here. So one will go on the bottom, one will go on the top. So there's two purposes to putting it inside of this baffle right here. One, if your nut comes loose on the back of here, it doesn't fall down into your engine and destroy stuff. But also, right there is actually where the stock PCB was. So if anywhere is gonna function that way, that's probably the best place to put them. So once you figure out where you can put these, which you'll have to play around with a little bit because the nuts might not fit great, but I am pretty, pretty anal about aesthetics. So places I can fit the nut and fit a uh, ratchet in is probably gonna be the place that I put these. And then I also want them to be equally spaced from 
all these edge lines and everything and so they actually look halfway decent but so I will get a drill bit and start drilling all right so what I've got here is actually an electric impact with a stepper bit on it um, I realized I don't have one big enough the uh, dash 10 fittings that I grabbed, the bulkhead fittings, the thread diameter is actually about seven eighths or 22 millimeters. So I went ahead and ordered the new drill bit. It should be here tomorrow. I got it one day shipping on Prime. So I will finish that tomorrow, but I will at least start drilling these tonight. And then once I get the bit tomorrow, I will finish up, but that's it for tonight. I'll see you in the morning. All right, guys, it's the next day. I got my new bits in the mail today. Uh, these things actually turned out to be a pretty nice set. I got these off of Amazon for about 20 bucks. Um, the bit I need though, is gonna be this guy right here. The biggest bit on it actually happens to be seven eighths, which is about what I've measured for those fittings for the AN uh, bulkhead fittings. So unfortunately these guys are not meant for my impact like the other ones were they just have the flats on them for a drill so that they don't spin in the drill so i'll grab my drill real quick which is sitting right here also load this guy in here which this will actually be super nice because all i have to do is go until this bit fits all the way through there versus the big one that's on here that's marked seven eighths this one, once I go through, it's the right size already, so I don't have to worry about going too far and opening the hole too much. So, I'm gonna go ahead and fit that in there. Apparently it's not in there tight enough. Try this again. As you can see two nice holes that are pretty equally spaced from this edge and this edge and then within here once I clean it up you can see a little better the nut will actually fit pretty well in there um, fortunately these things all I have to do is really hold the bottom nut and then use a socket or a wrench on the top so uh, I'll clean this out real quick and then I will be right back all right so I just took some brake clean um, sprayed the holes down with these stepper bits the uh, holes are actually come out pretty well uh, cleaned up as far as the edges go um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a flat file and just kind of knock down the edges a little bit because there's a little bit of a lip but not like there would be with like a regular drill bit uh, inside and outside and I also cleaned um, the grease and stuff out of the inside so that the stuff didn't get caught under the washers just for test fitting the the nylon washers that come with your AN fittings um so as far as the test fit goes I'll slide one of these in here real quick just to make sure they fit so it should be a little bit snug which it's actually pretty good as you can see the fitting kind of it's pretty tight in the hole it's what exactly what you want then you take that, you take your nylon washer, put that on there, and then just make sure that your nut fits and that you can spin it. Then, I'll just do this hand tight for now, just to show you how they fit in here. So there we go. You can see the new plug for the old PCV fitting 
uh, location, as well as the two new fittings that you can run to your catch can. Like I said, I'll have another catch can video later, but I do want to uh, scrape and paint and delete some stuff on here that I'm not going to use, like these bosses down here that were used for the factory uh, ignition coil wiring. Since I'm going to be running a custom setup for the new ones that runs the wiring above it up here, I don't need these locations anymore. And also the, actually I actually might leave these tabs. They'll, they'll hold up the metal cover I've got, but I'll definitely be getting rid of these ones just because. But there you have it. So you can see they fit in there real nicely. They're located pretty well, but all right, so that's all I've got for you today. I uh, just wanted to take a quick video of this setup. Uh, they do sell a similar one um, through Seems Legit Garage that has, um, I, I believe they're vibrant fittings. I know it's a vibrant catch can that they sell with it. Um, the one I got is actually an S-Max can, which again, I'll show you guys later. But I will link all of this in the description, uh, along with prices, stuff like that, so you guys can do it yourself. But this seems to be a pretty uh, popular setup for the boosted E36 guys running the S50, S52, M50, M52 setups with the metal cover. So that is all I've got for you today. But remember to like, subscribe, share, and hope you enjoy the rest of your day.